Canon has just launched a new digital SLR, the EOS 500D. I'm here at the Canon's National Showroom in Central London to talk to David Parry all about it. So David, tell us all about this new camera. Right, well this is the new 500D. Um, mm. It's sitting in our range just above the 450 and mm. just below the 40, so it's an addition to our range. It's 15.1 million pixels. It has a high ISO of 12800 right. and also has video capability. Now this 15 megapixel sensor, is this a new sensor or is this the same sensor? This is, a, this is a completely new sensor um, designed actually for this camera. It's very, very similar to the 50D but is different. How does it differ? The main difference is that the 50D has what we call ga gapless micro lenses, mm. um, which means that all the photodiodes are right next to each other. In this, it does actually have gaps between them. Right. And the ISO mode up to 12,800, yep. you're saying. Uh, that's boosted. Yes, it is, yeah. Boosted setting. But it's designed obviously for low light photography. Yep. This will make it fantastic for people who like shooting in low light or just really give people the ability to, to use the cameras um, when the sun goes down. So David, tell me about the movie mode. Right, we have um, full 1080 high definition movie on here mm. and also 720 high definition. Right, and what's the frame rate for this? Uh, the frame rate on 720 is 30 frames per second and on the 1080 full high definition is 20 frames per second. And what's the time limit for? The time shooting? limit for continuous shooting in one burst is 29 minutes 59 seconds. 29 minutes 59 seconds. Okay. Just under 30 minutes then basically. Correct, yep. Okay. Uh, and is that in both 720 and 10, 1080? Yes it is, yep. And what's the file format? The file format is .mov and we also include um, editing software um, in the box so you can actually edit your movies afterwards. Right. Is the body, this looks very similar to the 450D body-wise, is it it's based on the same body? Yes it is, um, in weight and physical dimensions it's almost exactly the same. The only thing we have done, done is enlarge the grip slightly just mm. to make it more comfortable for people with larger hands. Right, and weight is much the same? Weight is, officially it's 5 grams heavier, um, but whether you'd actually notice the difference. Uh, SD, SD card recording, Correct, same yeah. as the 450D. There's obviously a quick menu for adjusting uh, ISO, etc. We've got um, focus modes, white balance, picture styles, and, and drive modes. If you go into the actual menu, it's been redesigned too, hasn't it? Yes, it has, yes. We've um, create, um, designed a new menu system um, for this camera, um, which makes it a lot easier to use and makes it easier on the eye. Tell me about the LCD screen. We've got a 3-inch um, 920 dot screen on the back. Um, this also has a lot of anti-reflective coatings on it, um, mm. which is very, very good for shooting um, in bright conditions, especially when you're using the movie mode. Okay. How about inside the camera, metering and uh, focusing functions? It has the same metering and focusing system as the 450D. Mm. How many focusing points? Uh, it's got nine focusing points. Processing is done by our Digit 4 processor. Um, this has a number of functions on it, um, like face detect, um, and also it has peripheral illumination correction, so it'll recognise what lenses it has and um, give you the best settings for them. Okay, and Digit 4 is also faster than Digit 3, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. It's a much faster processor. This will give you a burst rate of up to 170 JPEGs um, in one, one shoot. Right. What is the frames per second? Uh, 3.4 frames per second. And the Digit, I mean, the 450 is the Digit 3, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Okay, and the 40D? Is so. Digit 3. Right. Now, where does this sit in the range, then, in, in the Canon range? This sits just above the 450 and just below the 40D. Right. So you've got the uh, starting everybody got the 1000D entry level. Yep. The 450D yep. and the 500D. And this is this is not a replacement for the 500D, is it? Uh, for the four, this is not a replacement for any of our cameras. This is an addition to our range. We now have eight cameras in our range. Okay. And then you've obviously got the 40D and 50D, which are slightly Correct. more higher spec for. Yeah, the, the 40 and the 50D, um, they have magnesium alloy, uh, alloy bodies. Um, they have slightly different functionality. They also have a much faster frame rate and a faster autofocus system as well. 
And I believe the camera takes the BGE5 battery grip from the 450D, is that correct? That is correct. All accessories yeah. for the 450 will actually um, fit this camera as well. Actually, we've got one here, haven't we, that we prepared earlier, the Peter style, with the, with the, with the uh, BGE5 grip attached yep. to it. So that takes two, two of the batteries, uh, which will give you um, twice as much shooting power. Right, okay. There's also a new flash gun, isn't there, that you've released? That's correct, yep. We've um, brought out a new um, speed light, which is called the 270, which mm. is a replacement for the 220. Um, the most remarkable thing about this flash gun is the fact that you can actually do bounce photography with it. This is very, very useful for photographing people and just giving a much more flattering light. And this is the first time we've ever had a flash gun this small that will actually have that capability. So what's the price of the camera going to be, the big question? Okay, well the camera's available in three different um, configurations. Um, first one being body only. Um, this is going to be um, 86999. Um, we also do it with the 18 to 55 IS lens, um, which is going to be 96999. And we also do it with the um, new 18 to 200 mil lens as well, which is going to be 139999. Right, and when are they going to be available to buy? Um, availability is early May. And is that the camera and the flash as well? Yes, it is, yeah. So there we have it, Canon EOS 500D. Uh, this is Canon's second DSLR to have uh, built-in HD video and by far the most affordable, uh, the other one being of course the 5D Mark II. Incidentally, that is the camera that we're using to film this video on. Um, although of course you can't appreciate the quality on, on the web of course. The price of the camera is comparable to the Nikon D90 which also offers HD video but not full HD. The D90 only offers 720 but this does do 1080. Also this to 1080 at 20 frames a second and at 720 it's 30 frames a second which again is better than the, the D90. In addition it's got a 15 megapixel sensor which is uh, something also um, the, better than the D90's 12 megapixel. So it's certainly going to be an interesting battle between this and the D90 for the hearts and minds of uh, DSLR buyers looking for a video mode.